الكنيسه هنا واللي معانا في الشاشات على قناه الكارما تعالوا قبل ما نبدا فتره التسبيح هيكون عندنا فرصه النهارده ان احنا نشترك مع الكنيسه الانجليزي مع لايت هاوس في التسبيح او في الترنيم تعالوا نسكب قلوبنا ونطلب بركه الرب من اجل فتره التسبيح ومن اجل الكلمه يا رب تعالى يا رب و نتقابل مع شعبك يا رب النهارده جايين لك يا رب عايزين عايزين نشوفك عايزين ننسى كل الهموم وكل الاتعاب وكل كل الحاجات اللي حوالينا اللي صوتها عالي يا رب انت شايف حروب شايف عائلات بتئن جايز افتقاد حبايب جايز مرض شعبك بيئن يا رب وكنيستك بتئن جايين لك يا رب عشان عارفين الراحة بتاعتنا عندك أنت يا رب عارفين يا رب إن أنت إله حنين تحننت على الشعب زمان يا رب وبتتحنن على شعبك النهارده يا رب يا رب جايين يا رب ماسكين في وعودك يا رب وماسكين في كلمتك يا رب إن ناسية الأم رضعها أنا لا أنساك احنا مش منسيين يا رب جاز الشيطان بيضحك علينا ويقول لك انت اتنسيت انت صلاتك دي بتضرب في السقف وتنزل تاني محدش سامع ادينا يا رب ايمان ان احنا بنخش في محضرك يا رب ونسبح اسمك نبقى عارفين ان صلواتنا بتطلع ليك يا رب كبخور عارفين يا رب ان انت بتحب شعبك بتحب كنيستك اتمجد يا رب في التسبيح النهارده خلي كلمات التسبيح وكلمات الترنيمات يا رب تخش قلوبنا يا رب وتغير فينا يا رب من جوه لبره يا رب يسوع يا رب اطلب ما نعمه يا رب من اجل الكلمه مع راعي الكنيسه يا رب النهارده كلمه تغير يا رب في الحياه تغير فينا يا رب يسوع ساعدنا يا رب ان احنا نتغير عن اشكالنا يا رب يسوع القديمه يا رب اغسلنا بدمك يا رب في محضرك حتى ما يا رب ما نتشبه بيك انت يا رب يسوع يا رب مش عايزين مجد لانفسنا ولا مجد لينا يا رب ولا لك يعني عايزين مجد يا رب يكون كله ليك انت يا رب. باركنا يا رب وبارك المواهب اللي بتعزف واللي بترنم انها تكون كلها ليك لمجدك انت يا رب يا يسوع. يا رب بارك اجتماعنا يا رب وبارك ما توقع من الاجتماع النهارده باسم يسوع. امين. تعال نقول له مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع تعال نقف مع بعض. ونقف امام اله المجد نقول له مستحق كل المجد مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع كل ركبة تسجد لي واللسان يعترف بيك مستحق كل المجد مرة تانية مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع مستحق كل المجد يا يسوع
التنيمة الجاية بتقول أرضنا أرضنا عطشانة بجروح وألم وكل أنواع الهموم مليانة من فيض حبك اروينا لمسة إيدك تشفينا إحنا بنسمع في الأخبار كل يوم وبنشوف الحروب اللي بتحصل حوالينا وشايفين الأمراض الغريبة اللي بتيجي وشايفين حبيبنا اللي بينتقلوا لكن تعالى رب وفيد بحبك واروي أرضنا وردنا تاني إليك يا رب تعالوا الجايين يا أبانا اسمع لدعانا جايين يا أبانا اسمع لدعانا بتواضع يرجع شعبك
التسبيح اللي يحب يقعد يقعد عايز يفضل واقف ممكن يفضل واقف كان في وانا بشارك مع اللايت هاوس من كام اسبوع بيقول كان ريك وارن بيقول if we pray as much as we worry there will be nothing left to worry about if we pray as much as we worry يعني احنا بنقعد نصلي على قد ما احنا قاعدين قلقانين ما يكونش في حاجه ممكن نقلق عليها التقديمه الجايه بتقول ما رحمك جيل ورا جيل احنا شايفين جيل ورا جيل او يعني قاعدين قدامنا هنا وهيقوموا يسبحوا معانا بعد شويه اله ابائنا واجدادنا وعهوده لينا ولاولادنا فالرب هو هو الامس واليوم والى الابد تعالوا نقول الهنا عظيم الهنا امين
فرصة إن الجيل الجديد ياخد المنبر هنقول الرب هو الله هو صنعنا ونحن شعبه وغنم مرعى تعالوا نقف مع بعض الرب هو الله هو صنعنا ونحن شعبه وغنم مرعى الرب هو الله هو صنعنا ونحن شعبه وغنم مرعى لنعبد الرب بالفرح والحمد ولنعتفى له Lighthouse uh, worship team to come up to the stage. I'm going to give the mic to Jonathan. Thank you, Shady. <coughs> yeah, so we're so excited uh, to do this joint service. Um, and initially, we were going to have one of the youth uh, share, um, but unfortunately, uh, she could not make it today. But she did send me uh, what she was going to share about, and I think it's just so powerful. I'd be really happy to share it with you. Um, so uh, Vera was going to share about the story of the prodigal son. And uh, we all, a lot of us know this story. Um, there's two sons and their father. And the younger brother, uh, he goes to the father and says, um, Father, I want my share of my wealth. And he goes and he gets lost and he spends all his money. And uh, the story is of his father um, being graceful to his son and saying, um, come back, uh, please. And a lot of times we try and relate with the younger son um, because he gets lost and God's love is so great that he's always willing to accept us again. Um, but Vera wanted to point out that we could also relate to the older brother sometimes because a lot of the time we can get caught up in thinking that person doesn't really deserve God's love. Um, it's, it's really easy to think about all the things that you do and you, you could be consistent in your faith. You can go to church every Sunday, read your Bible all the time. And sometimes it can be so frustrating 
or maybe it seems frustrating that other people can live a completely different lifestyle and still uh, come back to God's love. But I think what Vera wanted to point out is that that's completely missing the point because the point and the focus should be solely on God's love. And this next song that we're going to sing, uh, we'd really enjoy if you guys joined us. Uh, it's called Reckless Love, and it just talks about how merciful God is and his love is so reckless that no matter how lost we are, we can always come back to it. So please join us in worship.
we can be here and openly praise you. I pray that you will bless the word that Aziz has to tell us, and I pray that we can keep it in our hearts and live through what he's going to say. Amen. Isn't that so, so, so beautiful? Let's give them a, a big, big hand. No, bigger, bigger hand. <laughs> Biggest hand. In French, we say, El Halawadi. Thank you so much. You're a blessing, and not just a blessing. You, this is a dream coming true. It's to see the English church, to worship with the English church, and to see not the younger. Yes, I know that you are younger, but the new, newer, new. If there is a word in English, newer. If not, the new generation. Leading the church, leading the church in worship, leading the church in so many things and aspects. So, Habibi, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ya sukkar. Couple of weeks, uh, couple of weeks ago, I was sharing about a young woman living in one of the old-fashioned villages in Egypt. Her name is Mervat. I was sharing about Mervat. She has been engaged for four years. Can you imagine four? four years and she doesn't have the resources she doesn't have the money to get married so when I was sharing after the service right after the service when I went to my office I found on the desk two rings in an envelope two gold rings in my uh, on my desk in an envelope Written on the envelope, this is for Mervat. This is for Mervat. Little gift making a big difference. These are not two. These are two plus one. Why I'm saying that? Because the two rings, when someone heard about the two rings he donated. No, I don't want to say donated. He gave. He gave his ring as well. So I have two plus one gold rings for the need in the old villages in Egypt, specifically for Mervat. Your little is plenty in his hand. Your little is plenty, but in his hand. Let's read the text. It's from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6. This miracle, before we read it, this miracle, Mark chapter 6. Before we read the miracle, for me, it's not just a miracle. La, it's not just a miracle. It's a challenge for each one of us. It's a challenge. Jesus is challenging, is challenging us today. So we can't read it and say, hmm, that's so good. Wow, Jesus is making a miracle. We're not watching a miracle. We should be challenged with this and believe that, believe that your little 
is so, so plenty. بس إيه in his hands. طيب, let's read it. Mark 6. The, apostle, the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all uh, f- on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw the, the large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time, it was late in the day. So his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said. And it's already very late. Send the people away. Send the people away. Send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, this is the challenge. Listen to the challenge. خليك معايا. Listen. You... Give them something to eat. You give them something. You give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take more than half a year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread? And give it to them to eat. مش معقول يعني. again. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? مش معقول How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down on, uh, in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven. He gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to distribute, it, to, distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They they all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of men who had eaten was 5,000. Your little is plenty. But in his hands. Meshi? There was a problem, actually, a couple of problems at that site. First, the number of people. They were 5,000. Mish 500. Mish uh, uh, 50, 500. No, it was 5,000 people. Huge crowd, one, two. They were hungry. So having this crowd of 5,000 people and they were hungry. Can I share something personal, something personal? When I'm hungry, I have something they call it attitude. Or in the American way of pronouncing it, attitude. When I'm hungry, la, I have attitude. And it's not always nice. It's not always nice when I'm hungry. 
So five five thousand people. One. Second, they are hungry. Third, it was late. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus, but your sermon went. Uh, have gone too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, with all the we enjoyed the sermon, but your sermon and teaching have gone way too long. So it, it's late. And the, the fourth problem they faced was that they were in a remote place, solitary. Yani, wilderness, where there is no food, where there is no Costco. Where there is no big Y, where there is no McDonald's, where there is no Whole Foods. It's wilderness. This is the problem. So they, actually this is a great thing they, they, they did. They bought the problems to mean to Jesus. When there is a need, when there is a problem, the best thing you do is to take the need and the problem to mean. Mean is an Arabic question. It's not mean, M-E-A-N. But to whom? Jesus, lover of my soul. I'll take the need. I'll take the problem to Jesus. What does it mean to take the problem to Jesus? Well, in one word, pray. Pray. Some of us in a remote place, in the wilderness, where there is a big problem, a disease, death, struggling with money, Struggling to find a job. Or we see a need of 5,000 people around us. Whether in Boston, here, next door. Or whether in Erbil. Or, or in one of the old-fashioned villages in Egypt. Or in South Sudan. Listen, ya gama'a, please listen. If we see hungry people, struggling people, and all what we care about is how to get more, we are living in a wilderness. In a remote place. We're not close, we're not near, we're not close to the people and their needs. If we, all what we care about and having all this crowd around us, in, in deep need, struggling with, with sickness, struggling with injustice, struggling with poverty. And all what we care about is to come and enjoy worship. We are in a remote place. Fidinia Tanya Khalis. Khalis. We are so separated. We are in the wilderness. We are in remote place. Excuse me, يعني بالعربي كده. We don't care. Maybe, maybe this is why I, I, I don't want to use the word donate. لأنه in my mind, in my mind, donate is to drop a couple of bucks in the offering plate. هنا. Donation. لا. I don't see this as a donation. I don't see the lunchbox of the, this boy in this story, in this miracle, which I don't see it as a miracle. I see it as a challenge. In 2023, it's a challenge for each single one of us is to do something, is to do something. His lunchbox, gave it. All what he has, he gave it away. Are you ready to do that? Are we as a church ready to do that? Willing, Balash ready, willing to do that. 
willing to do that, give, and then more giving, and then give, and then more giving. Sometimes all what we care about is the newest iPhone, the newest car, the newest brand, or the brand, or the uh, 810, the, the newest, the fastest, the nicest. <sighs> so they took the problem, which is a good thing they did. They took it to Jesus. Okay, for the needs we see around us here in Boston, Erbil, South Sudan, we'll take it to Boston. We'll take it to Jesus. But listen, listen. They prayed, they took the problem to Jesus, but be ready. Because his answer to your prayers might not you might, Khalini, uh, uh, restate the sentence. You might not, you might not appreciate his answer to your prayers. You might not like his answer to our prayers. Why? What was his answer to their prayer when they took the problem to him? What, what was the answer? Do you remember? You! You give them something to eat. Jesus, there is no food. You give them something to eat. This is the challenge. Your little, five loaves and two fish, your little is plenty, is plenty, is plenty in his hands. So you give them something to eat. You give, you give, not just donate, you give, some, you give them something to eat. This is the challenge. You might not like this answer. You might not like it. Don't miss the miracle by holding, by holding to what you have. Don't miss the miracle. Don't miss the challenge. Meshi, when you hear Meshi, what's your answer? When I ask Meshi, the answer is Meshi. You might not like his answer to our prayers. He might challenge us with a new challenge. You give them something to eat. They focused on the need. They focused on what they don't have. We don't have enough. Jesus took them to what they have, the little they have. Mashi. You give them something to eat. Take the problem, the need, to Jesus. Second, you are one of two responses. You, yourself, are one of two responses. Let's see the responses. Let me compare. La. Let me con contrast the two responses. Listen to me. First response was the disciples, <laughs> the church people. The disciples in 2023 turn the church people. What was the response of the disciples? We don't have enough. We don't have anything. And they said, Send them away. Send these people away. Hey, we don't want any shahateen around us. Send them away. We don't want them here. We are the nice church, classy worshipers, uh, nice people, clean. People, send them away. 
مش عايزين نشوف حد فيهم هنا or how about how about you tell them hmm, we have a better option بص we we are in this with you so first is to them, send them away بس there is a, a, a plan B why don't you tell them to go buy their own food Why don't you tell them to go buy their own food? Meshi? We are in wilderness, in a remote area, a remote place. If we see the need of others and start to blame them, they are lazy. Send them away. They are lazy. Mostly or probably, Balash, mostly, probably, they are drug, drug addicts. If we give them money, give them money, they will take it and buy drugs. Send them away or tell them to go and buy themselves food. But we don't want them to be around. This is why I see this miracle. It's not just a miracle. It's a challenge. Jesus is challenging each single one of us you give them something to eat a boy anonymous boy in the crowd anonymous boy anonymous what young boy or anonymous little boy with little lunchbox, with little resources. And maybe all the disciples and the mature and grown-up people around him, they see him as a, look to my hand, he's a little boy. Your little lunchbox is plenty in his hands. Your little is plenty in his hands. Don't answer Jesus and say little. It's so li- well, what I have is little. But so listen to what the disciples say. They say uh, stun. They say that would take, listen to this, this is their, they said to him, that would take more than half a year's wages, wages. More than half a year's wages. Are we to go? Are we to go? Huh? Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? Inshallah, let them climb up the ladder as we climbed up the ladder of success, of career, whatever. They should get their own food. It's costing half a year wages. Do you want us to spend all this on them to eat? <laughs> not today, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. or Yeah, but not today. 
Jesus is, cha is challenging each single one of us. You give them something to eat. And believe me, Jesus, yani, and believe me when I say your little is plenty in his hands. You choose your response to the need, either to be like the church people, the disciples, who focused on the need or, and on what they don't have, or the boy. It's just a little, little, two uh, gold rings that will move another one to give his own or her own third ring. This is the challenge. You give them something to eat. Sometimes we need to awaken. You need to awaken the boy, this boy in you. You need to awaken, hello, little boy in me, the giving boy in me. We need to awoke, awaken the boy in us to give more and then to give more. You are one of the two responses. You are one. So first, they took the need, the problem to Jesus. Second, you choose your own response, whether the disciples or the little boy with little lunchbox and give. Third, Jesus multiplies, multiplies the generosity. When we go beyond the norm, when we give to the kingdom of God and to Jesus, when we give generously, Jesus multiplies the blessings. When we give, he multiplies. But before he multiplies, he did something. Do you remember what he did before multiplying the five loaves and the two fish? He took the five loaves and two fish. They were focusing on bread, 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 loaves, bread, bread, loaves. When they, when they went to the boy, they found five loaves and there is always and. He is so faithful to our needs, to our, huh? He is so faithful. Okay. Before he multiplies the, or multiplied the blessing, he did something. He took the five loaves and two fish and lifted up his, his hands and asked for the Father's blessing and to make it happen to feed the 5,000. Is that right? No. This is wrong. He took the five loaves and the two fish and he lifted up his hands and gave thanks. Bravo. And gave thanks. Sometimes we don't have much. You know why? Because we don't thank much. We always fo focus, like the, the disciples, we always focus, or balash always. We sometimes focus on, the, on what we don't have, on, on the need, or the little. What is this to all these people? Five loaves and two fish. What is this? It's nothing. Ya yeah, Habibi, believe me and said that. In your little, in my hands, is plenty. It will feed because I am the God who can multiply. We need to learn, especially that we are approaching the thanksgiving. We need to thank and to see the multiplication in the blessing in our lives. Jesus multiplies. You might have little talent 
you might have little money. You might have little time. You might have little, eight any, little education. You might have, look at me, little English. Mashi, you might have little. Just believe that, that, that the little you have in his hands is plenty. This is the challenge. And he is challenging each one of us. Don't miss the miracle. Don't miss the miracle. Concluding, or in conclusion, let me share a story. I shared it with the church here, but in my mind, this is a true touching story. His name is Muharib. He is in Qumir, an old village in Egypt. It's in Luxor. His name is Muharib. Uh, in, in the village of Qumir. Muharib is a young boy, young boy, <laughs> little boy, and the only entertainment they have, they don't have a PlayStation, they don't have, what's the eye, I what? The eye with the white, we, 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 yeah, the PlayStation, the we, they, what else? they don't have Cartoon Channel, they don't have CNN, they don't have Fox News, they don't have anything. So the only entertainment for someone like Muharib is to run next to the, to the train. The train is so slow, they call it sugar cane train and they put the sugar cane on it, it's so slow. So the kids in Qumir, they run next to the, to the train, and they pull, and they pull one of the sugar cane to eat it, <laughs> like this. If you have ever seen or you have self-experienced how to eat, the, how to eat, suck, how to eat, smai. Mish arif smai. True, la. Ah, chew and get the juice. Chew, yes. Thank you, Mr. V. Yeah. Chew. The sugar cane. So he was trying to pull one of the sugar cane. And while he was is pulling the sugar cane, he fell down and he, his leg got under the wheels. And his leg was cut, not from here, not from here. Keda. Muharib lived a so tough life. In Qumir, they don't have health care. They just give you something like Advil. This is all what they have, maybe, or a shot or something like that. They don't have hospitals. So he lived this depressing, uh, tough life. I, I don't have a stronger word to, to explain. This was his uh, right leg. He lived all his life jumping on the left leg without uh, uh, clutches. Crutches, clutches is in the car, crutches. Yeah. He lived without crutches because they, they don't have money to buy crutches. And they don't have medical insurance to buy crutches. So he lived all his life just jumping on his left leg. A 
couple of people from the church, including myself, we went to, went to uh, visit Muharib. And with a little giving, with a little gift, Muharib now, he has a prosthetic, prosthetic uh, limb, prosthetic leg. He can walk. They sent us, when we gave the gift uh, uh, designated to Muharib, the ministry that we are partnering with in Egypt, they sent us the video. Muharib is walking on bo the, uh, the reg reg natural and the prosthetic. He is running. They, they told him, Muharib, can you run? He ran. He's working now. He's, he's driving a tok tok, not a tick tock. No, no. It's a tok tok. Tok tok is uh, like a small, tiny uh, motorcycle. Motorcycle that they use in public transportation. They take two or three people and they use it in the villages because the streets cannot take a bus or a anything like this, not even a, a van, a minivan. Because of the little we gave to Muharib, now he's living a new life, a fresh start. No. This is not a miracle. It's a challenge to each one of us. Even if you have little, like the lunchbox, you give them something to eat. Don't miss the miracle. You give them something to eat. Let us pray, please. Let us pray. Jonathan Asad, can you lead us in a word of prayer? Then we will worship with the English church. Can you please? Yeah, thank you. Lead us in prayer, please, Jonathan. Dear God, I thank you for this time that we have together. I thank you that you've blessed us in each in so many ways that sometimes we aren't, ev aren't even aware of. And I thank you that you've put us all in a position that we have either little or a lot to give. And I thank you that whatever we give, you bless and you make it plenty. I pray that together we can thank you and be grateful and really reflect on all that we have and all that you've blessed us with. And that together we can praise you and continue to bless others. I pray that you lift our praise and that together we can um, just worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.